Hello everyone, and welcome back to another cPanel video episode. Uh, tonight, well this morning, whatever, we are going to be talking about installing a, a third-party remote backup plugin. Uh, for those of you who run a lot of websites, big ones, active ones, whatever, um, the default cPanel backup system works to an extent, but this third-party plugin we have found actually be really really good. Uh, it's called CP Remote. Um, it's from a business based out of India. We haven't had too many issues or really any issues for that matter really with them. So we recommend it. It's pretty good. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, we went ahead and signed up, downloaded it. Um, we couldn't actually seem to W get this guy because like it's in there system so we went ahead and just opened up an SFTP connection and we're just uploading the um, files into the source directory so we can install them uh, once it's done we're going to install it but what it, let's talk about it real quick what it's doing is it's giving you the ability to create um, daily weekly monthly backups um, sent off to a remote server and it's using rsync so it's only copying and using everything that's been changed so if the file hasn't been changed it's not going to back it up so it's a lot quicker and faster uh, we haven't had any issues really with it uh, okay so we got installed and really it's really simple to actually install and use uh, we haven't really had any problems with it um, okay, let's we'll just, um, it's a mod, uh, we're just going to be doing it, we'll just do it cheap, easy way, just whatever, okay, and just make sure it's executable, but it, it, what it's doing is it's going to completely, um, apparently we don't have something built. Okay, let's just go ahead and build this real quick. This could probably take a while, who knows. Uh, but anyway, um, what it's really doing is just as you see, uh, or sync to back everything up. So you can do it by day, um, seven days a week, and then do it by weekly, you don't have to do it by monthly. And what it does is just R syncs all the changed files. Now, databases, well, it doesn't have the ability to do snapshots of databases, um, which means if you got like five, ten gigabyte type databases or bigger than or smaller than whatever, you're gonna have some problems um, because it's it's just gonna use up the I/O when it tries to do a MySQL dump. So big database files and size you're gonna have a lot of issues with still but it does cut the time down and cuts the uh the io load way way down like the wait times are like absolutely next to nothing i mean even with doing the big database dumps we haven't really seen any high io spikes or load averages either so it does a really 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 good job um but other than that, it really does a really good job backing up, so we highly recommend it. It's probably a, a good alternative before you want to use R1 soft. Uh, so I'm going to just pause the video and let this install, and then we're going to go through the uh, the setup process. Okay, that was faster than I expected, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to using the install. And then install everything. Okay. It's installing. Uh, Burton Edwards Jr. is just copying stuff over. I didn't think it was going to take that long to actually install, but anyway. Um, but all in all, I'm just going to say again, if you run a lot of cPanels, you know, it's a pretty good simple thing. It only costs like $10 a month. 
so it's not really bad. So it installs like that. Um, uh, the first thing is you want to do is you're going to create your little backup key. And it's going to take you step by step on how to set up uh, an authorization key on each of the backup servers. You can do everything. Uh, you can use any account you want. Um, you don't have to actually use a root account. And you can actually go in ahead of this and you can actually lock these keys down even further if you like to. Uh, but that's pretty simple. You just do that to, you know, back the account up. I mean, set the, the account status up. Um, you have your statuses. Uh, you can actually enable and disable. The thing is I really don't like about this is because you have to actually select the account. Whether they're enabled or disabled, they're still on the same list. So it's kind of annoying because you also can't type in the actual name. You have to type it, then scroll through it. Uh, it's kind of annoying if you need if you actually have to do this because you want to cut down some of the big crazy accounts. Uh, you can restore the files if you want to. You just select the username. You know you can select the type, and, and then you can actually select different types you want. So if you don't want to do that, you just want to do emails or something. You can do that. You can do the full account restart, you know, select, name, everything. Um, let's talk about the, configuring the backup. Uh, you set the arsing path, the email, uh, enable the backup. You can choose to do every day and have a backup every day if you like. Um, this way, if a client misses something, they can go back and get it. Otherwise, you're overriding if you don't do this. So it's probably advisable that you actually set all seven of those up. Do your weekly, do your monthlies as well. Um, you can set configure to set back everything else up. Uh, we don't use local. I mean, you can use a local if you want to, but we want to use remote. Um, the thing to keep in mind is don't ever end these with that. Um, I'll give you a little tip. This here needs to be like home. Um, or whatever, um, something. Just make sure it's the actual full path name um, that you guys said H and N2. And as far as the local backup, we're not using that, but all in all, it's a fairly simple thing to set. There's really nothing complicated to this at all. It's fairly simple. The other cool feature about this is the cPanel users themselves can actually restore their accounts. I actually had a client, he actually ended up deleted his entire root account for cPanel. Like he deleted like the entire thing. So uh, he actually sent me a text message and I was like, go into cPanel, look for CP Remote, and select the day you want to back up to. And it restored every file, and I've not heard from him since. So CP Remote with that ability to actually for clients to restore their very, very own backups is a really, really good thing. It's nice. It saves time for you so you don't have to actually go with them and back them up, blah, blah, blah. You know, they can do it themselves. So that is probably like one of the nicest features I've seen. And, not, and they can select the weekly, the back, uh, monthly, daily, the actual day, whatever they want. As long as you have that backup, they can select that specific backup that they want. So it's very, very nice. Uh, that's probably why I found probably the nicest thing about it all. So all in all, other than it's not doing a snapshot for the databases, which means it's actually going to dump them, the thing is really nice. I would say I give the same just basically like a, an 8 out of 10, only because it it's not really doing the databases like hot um, snapshotting them so it has to dump them all and transfer them over. I mean, that's really the only downside. Otherwise, this thing is great. And for $10 a month, I'd definitely say it's uh, the best thing ever. So that pretty much concludes this one for um, CP Remote. Uh, as you can see, installing it was very simple. It's very nice, and I definitely recommend it. Uh, you get questions, you know stuff, you want to talk about it, hit us up on the forums, and we'll see you in the next video.